is Patrick and I wanted to show off this cool little test rig that I did. I did this with my Rivian last summer and now that I have my Lightning, I thought, well, let's make use of that extra foot of space on the back and we'll do two solar panels. And it works pretty great. Like it uses camper clips in there and it fits almost perfect. It's just like two inches too long for two panels. If I could build like a little piece of cheese wedge, <laughs> then I could get more of an angle on the solar panels and they would actually be more efficient. Lying flat, not great. I'm getting about 300 watts on this like basically 700 watt system right now. And it's, it works. It's powering up these EcoFlows. I can charge the vehicle off of it. Under ideal conditions, I might be able to get about 10 miles a day. So I can just drive around and they'll fill up and then I can plug in the truck and let it juice up and it'll take about two hours or so. It's kind of neat, not practical. Uh, I can see why they don't really include uh, tonneau covers with solar panels, although it would be great for accessories and keeping something charged up like an EcoFlow and being available in an emergency if you do run 100% out of range and you just need to make it a few miles to a charger. Technically, I could say I can drive purely on sunlight anywhere. Like, I don't, I could go in this truck and I could go anywhere in the United States uh, eventually, someday. <laughs> 10 miles at a time <laughs> every day <laughs> it would take forever but I think for camping I think it's great you could put these all over a top of a camper be full all the time and if you need more power you can plug into the truck and as long as you go camping in the mountains like I do you can always get downhill because of the regen braking EVs are great for camping I, I don't know why so many people say oh they suck at towing because they are amazing for towing. The only disadvantage is they're so freaking efficient that they also take a big hit to their efficiency when they're towing very unaerodynamic, very heavy things. It's about half. I have a 23 foot long camper. Uh, actually, it's 19 and a half, but it's got extra stuff on the end. So it measures out with the tongue about 23 feet and it weighs just under 5,000 pounds fully loaded. So I towed around with my Model X for years. And then the Rivian, did, it did amazing with the Rivian. I was actually getting close to around 200 miles range. And I'll see what the Lightning does, but I imagine it's pretty similar. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you think of, you know, doing solar on a truck. I mean, there's just not enough surface space on a Model S or X. Maybe all the glass could be solar and it would help ward off phantom drain and it would just kind of counteract that. I think I'm losing a lot in efficiency right now because I've got DC converting and charging the EcoFlow, which goes to AC to charge the truck, which is converting back into DC. And every time you do that, you're looking at like a 20% or more loss. So I'm losing like 40%. I think if you could wire the solar panels directly into the DC charging somehow to charge it and have a voltage converter as opposed to like it, it might be a little bit better DC to DC and get it up to something enough to charge the bank but yeah still not quite there yet anyways thank you guys for sharing liking subscribing and I will see you guys again soon you can talk to me on Twitter, I'm at WalkingCrow, or you can email me, patrick at wildwestdv.com. Thanks, bye.